Hi, my name is Sophia Stevenson. And I'm Donna Carroll. And this is Music, Music News. News. Look out iTunes. Google officially launched their own online music store this past week. The launch features services that may have music honchos make a run for their money. For one, the MP3 store is linked to a cloud-based service, which means you can share your music library with friends. Talk about Google magic. Could retirement be around the corner for Dr. Dre? In a shocking announcement last week, he stopped short of making it official by saying he's taking a break. Dr. Dre said, and I quote, I've been working on music for 27 years now, and the longest I've ever been out of the studio in 27 years has been two weeks. That's a hard working man. In reference to last week's story, Michael Jackson's deathbed is no longer up for sale. Aww. Courtney Love led a verbal chant not only offensive to the Foo Fighters, but also the gay community. It all started at a scheduled performance in Sao Paulo, Brazil, where Love went off on a fan carrying a picture of late husband and former frontman of Nirvana, Kurt Cobain. She then proceeded to curse out former Nirvana drummer Dave Grohl, who is the current Foo Fighters lead. At the encore performance, she led the audience in a chant of, Foo Fighters are gay. Hey hipsters, are cassettes making a comeback? Dinosaur Jr. thinks so. They will be releasing a limited edition cassette trilogy featuring three of their classic albums via Joyful Noise. Thanks for watching.